Hey everyone, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Michaela's Harp, which is a standalone VST AU or AAX plugin. Uh, before we get started checking this one out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, everyone. So today we're going to check out Michaela's Harp, as I mentioned before. So this is a sample library, but it will run in what I believe is the HISE H I S E structure. So it is a standalone plugin. You don't need contact or anything like that. When you first load the plugin up, it's going to ask you for your samples folder, which is a dot hr1 file or your samples file which you will have when you download the instrument just click that or find it wherever you downloaded it and then you can extract it anywhere on your computer so it's very easy to set up so there are a few different mic positions and presets but first off let's just check out this sound here and listen to what it sounds like and i'll go through some of the mic positions and then the presets So right now this clip, uh, fairly low velocities if we go here, um, you'll notice there's a nice little dynamic range here. So if I hit the keys lightly, We also have different articulations down here in these red key switches. So, for instance, if I click this one, it's going to re-trigger a note when I release the keys. Which can be very useful. This is a short stopped note. And you'll hear this is just a, a different playing style. It's a, it's a little bit more trebly. Listen to the difference between these two. So again, I've got the room mics here. That is my personal favorite. We also have the direct in here. and then the close. We can pan all of these uh, individually, and then we also have some presets. So we can scroll through these and I'll check some of those out. So you'll notice that last one makes use of the attack slider there, and it's a bit more synthetic process sounding. Some of them also make use of the delay there, so that, for instance, one of them was the distant 
preset and we could kind of hear a delay as the sound kind of bounced around. So those can be useful when you're trying to process the sound in a bit different ways. Um, my personal favorite, so I'm going to go back to the default here. My personal favorite sound here is that room microphone because you guys know I do the orchestral stuff. So what I've done here is set up a reverb send to a hall um, algorithmic reverb and then using a placement tool I've just kind of pushed it back in the room there so this is a really nice sound and my personal favorite which I will be using in my projects again the room mic default so let's play that for the outro and then I will see you guys next time thanks for checking this one out with me